Hi, welcome to Parametric House and for today we're going to model this parametric shaping grasshopper by simply using two boxes which I'm going to explain and you can see by changing the shape of the boxes and also a scale uh, we can produce the smooth mesh using the Viverbird plugin so be sure to watch the video till the end. It's really simple but it's going to give you a good overview of how you can use simple uh, faces to produce a smooth mesh. Okay, let's get started from scratch. Uh, first, what I want to do is to produce two boxes. So I'm going to go to the surface and in the primitive we can use anything, maybe just use the center box to make the box and I'll put the bifocals so you can see that center box tool. Okay, uh, we can give a number slider for the X, Y and the Z which is going to be for the domain of minus x uh, to plus x and also for y and z. Uh, to make it as easy as possible, I'm going to just give this a number slider, maybe from 1 to 100 with two decimals and uh, name this size 1. Uh, give this to the x, y, and z. We can increase that to make it a bigger box. Okay, that's for the first box. Just a simple con uh, control C, control V to make a copy and make the second box. So maybe make it, make it a little bit bigger. And now we have this two boxes in Grasshopper. Okay, now what we want to do is to connect. Uh, let me just show you what I mean here by uh, baking this box so uh, you can understand better what's happening here. Okay. Uh, assume that we want to make this geometry. It's a simple box uh, connected from this face to another face here, but maybe we can just scale it a little bit down. So we can work with this face and scale it to make it uh, something like that. Uh, we can go to the surface and use this uh, analyzers deconstruct BREP to explode the boxes into the faces. So I'm going to just explode the boxes into faces and turn everything off. And now what we want to do is to scale one of these faces. Uh, maybe this one is fine. I'm going to use scale. You can also find it in transform. And in the affine, you can find the scale here. Okay. Give it to the face, the geometry we want to scale. Uh, maybe we just focus on the bigger box. Okay, uh, the center of the scale will be the center of these faces. So I'm going to go to the surface and use this area tool to find the centroid, right? And give it here. This is going to find the centroid of each of these faces and give it to the center. And now we can just give a factor of scaling to scale these faces. Uh, maybe from 0 0.1 to 3 times bigger. So this is a simple scale. And we can scale up these faces. Okay. Okay. And by changing the f uh, size, you can see that we can change the faces here. Okay, now it's time to connect them together to make these faces along the faces of the box. And we can just do that by uh, using the loft. Okay, uh, you can see that we have six faces here and six faces here. How can we connect each of these faces together? If you don't know about uh, flatten or graft, be sure to watch the video, I will put it up here. But for now, we just have to graft these here. So each of these uh, faces will go to a, in a group. For example, the first face is going to go to the first group and also for the scale one is going to happen also, okay? So I'm going to just graft these and connect a curve to them. So it's going to extract the edges of the faces and now we can use the shift key uh, I'm holding the shift key and give it to the loft. Okay. And now you can see that by baking this, I will have the faces here simply just by uh, grafting 
each of these faces. Okay, now you can see that by changing the size, uh, we can produce different results. Okay, now what we have to do is to just simply connect them together because each of these faces in one group, okay, we have to connect them together. That's easy. You have to go to the surface and use this BREP, uh, let me say BREP join to join, uh, join them together. Uh, we can just flatten this. So all of those lofts are going to be connected together. Again, we will have one BREP, which is like this. And now we just have to uh, make it into solid by using the cap because in Rhino, you can just type cap and you can see it's going to convert that into a solid. We can also type cap here, cap holes, or you can find it in surface, utility, and cap holes. So just cap the holes and we will have a complete solid. That's exactly the base solid we need for the mesh. So if I just connect a display custom preview so you can see the solid you can see by changing the scale changing the size uh, we can produce different results okay that's the basics and now it's time to convert that into a mesh that's really easy when you have a solid with faces with three edges or four edges uh, you can simply go to the mesh utility and use this simple mesh to convert it into a mesh. I always use that to convert my simple uh, BREPs into a mesh and now we have a faster result. Okay, that's the mesh and you can see that it's really easy to use. And now we can use the Vivable plugin to smooth it and make it even uh, more interesting. So let's just go to the Vivable plugin. You have to install it in the file special folder, component folder. Uh, check out our website. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can download the example and also download the Vivable plugin. Uh, it's going to be here on the W and I'm going to use this subd Vivable catmock lark subdivision to smooth the final result. Okay. And here we go, turn this off. And by giving different numbers to the level, it's from zero to three. This is the level of smoothing. Zero is going to give you the base mesh. And by increasing that, three is going to give you complete smooth mesh, which is exactly what we need here. That's it. And uh, okay. And now what we want to do here is to change the shape. Let me give it uh, some colors by going to the display and custom preview. I usually use the mesh analyzes and the mesh edge tool to extract it. Give the mesh here so you can see the edges. And now we can play with the number sliders. So you can see how easy it is to uh, make a simple parametric shape with just two boxes and a scaling factor. Just play with this size, size of the boxes, and also a scale to make this scale. Uh, that's it. That's how we can simply make a smooth parametric mesh with two boxes. Uh, for those who want to watch an advanced tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, an advanced example which we will extract the edges, give it a frame, and at the end we're going to convert that into a building uh, and extract the curves of the building with different heights and give it a slab. So this is also going to be some advanced lessons of how we can convert that mesh into something like this with a facade uh, and some slabs for the buildings. We have to extract the upper face, just some uh, logics we want to use and that's for the advanced users. You can also check out Power Course 
if you want to learn the advanced lesson. Okay, that's it. That's how we can make the smooth mesh in Grasshopper and change the shape by just playing with this boxes and scaling. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope that this tutorial was useful. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask below this video and see you next time. Bye.